printing directly to SharePoint with the SharePoint connector. Hey, I'm Eric, and um, one of the small features of the SharePoint connector is actually the ability to, for SharePoint to become a printer. Well, a printing destination, I don't know what the right word is. Microsoft calls it a, a, a cloud printer, but let me show you how it works. Uh, so here's my business central. And uh, if I go into my SharePoint connector setup, I have two fields down here. Uh, one is called print to SharePoint folder, called print. And one is called the, the SharePoint printer paper size. Um, because what we get when we install the app is that if I go into printer here, printer management, you can see that we have actually gained a printer called SharePoint. And if we take a look at this, there's not really anything to do with it. It's just there. Um, and and we, can, we can we can't do anything. You, it's just, you know, it's a printer. Uh, but what we can do is actually print to it. So if I grab one of my favorite reports, the, the customer top 10 lists, I can now select SharePoint as the printer. Um, and then I don't need to fill anything out of this report. So I'll just print. And now, you know, it printed. Just like if we were back in, in the days of, you know, prints or something would start making noise somewhere behind me. Uh, but this file has now, this report has now been printed to SharePoint. So let's go onto SharePoint and see if we can locate it. So here is my SharePoint site. Let me just move it. I'll go into documents. And now we can see that I just, I got a new folder here called print because we had that setting say, hey, what is the folder for print? Well, it's called print in this case. Um, and in here, each user that are printing will, will get a folder for themselves. So in this case, I have my folder and we can now see that I have the customer top 10 list. Uh, that's a PDF. And the file name is, is the report followed by a, a timestamp of when it was done. So I can open this and if the SharePoint, let's see if that works again. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go away. The banner. Of course, this happens. I click this one again. Now it's working. There we go. SharePoint quirk. Anyway, so here is the report as a PDF printed. Um, and so so that's that's an easy way of, hey, I got to get this as a file uh, somehow. So now I'm just printing it to SharePoint. You can combine this with you no know, automation. So if you on SharePoint set a Microsoft Power Automate up to monitor your folder and, and depending on what's happening, maybe send that off to somewhere or to someone or a physical printer or anything. You can have the system react on the fact that you're just printing a report. Um, and since the, uh, let me go here and do again. So since this is a printer, you can go into printer selection and say, hey, when the user is Eric, we don't care what report it is, but anything should, when Eric is printing, then that should be to SharePoint. So if I, I run the, the customer top 10 again, we can see now the printer is auto selected to be SharePoint. Um, so it's just a, a little bonus feature of the SharePoint connector that it can become just a printer and you can print anything to it. If you like that feature, Perhaps check some of the other videos on, on the product or you can get in touch with us if you have other questions about the, uh, the app. Until another time, have fun with the SharePoint Connector.